Grand Prix final Prix winner, Russia. also winner of the Grand Prix in France and Japan. Second at the Russian Championships. There's some of her supporters. Now the score she needs to post here to win is 152.85. And she's already exceeded that by nearly 10 points this season. No quads planned in this program, but there are one or two massive elements, including the triple axles. So Elena Kostanaya now going for gold, the last to skate at the 2020 European Figure Skating Championships in Graz. Tremendous start. Effortless triple axle and double toe loop. And again landing light as a feather on the second triple axle. Wonderful first half of her free program. Just stunning, really stunning. Final change of pace. Skating to Supermassive black hole. Could she be on her way to gold here? Elena Kostanaya. going to make things uh, much closer than they might have been. There's a great deal resting on these last few elements. Elena Kostanaya, the last to skate in the ladies' event here in Graz. And with the exception of that fall on the triple lutz, she put together a flawless programme. 
The score she needed to beat, 152.85 to win. And the thing about uh, Elena is she presents so very well. She's a very stylish, elegant skater, great feel for the music. And will that be enough to carry her through despite that tumble? We shall see. Wow, what a competition. Again, when you think how far the sport has come in the last 12 months with the winning score 12 months ago of uh, Sofia Samadorova, 213.84. We have a lead at the moment of 237.76 total. It was a breathtaking combination of power and grace and technical skill. Anna Sherbakova watching on very closely, I'm sure, to see if her teammate has done enough to deny her a European gold. Just uh, beautiful skating. No quad in the program, of course, but uh, still some very big elements. That opening uh, triple axle, double toe loop, triple flip, triple toe combination. And the triple flip with the Euler across to the triple salco. That was the moment that things were just uh, sent to hang in the balance a little bit, I think. Uh, but for that, this would have been a clear victory. Now we have to wait and see. A marvellous score, whatever she gets. There is Sherbakova watching on with a furry friend next to her. The scores, please, for Aliona Kosanaya from Russia. Here it comes. She needs to beat 152.85 to win. Aliona Kosanaya from Russia. Yes, that's more than enough. 155.89. She sees it's the second best free score. She won't know yet, but in a moment it will appear that she is the new European champion at 240.81. 240.81. That's 27 points higher than last year's winning total. Wonderful scoring.